Lebanon's political stalemate remains intact after lawmakers failed for the 12th time to elect a president. The only change was that this time there were two competing candidates, none of which, however, could garner the necessary votes. Head of the Marada movement, Suleiman Franji, secured 51 votes, while former finance minister Jihad Azroud garnered 59 votes in the 128-seat parliament. Hezbollah MP stressed after the session that no side can impose a candidate on the other, stressing that the only solution is dialogue until a consensus is reached. We told them several times that the language of provocation, imposition and confrontation will not work, and no one can break the will of any member of parliament since each of us has the right to vote based on their conviction. We reiterate the call for dialogue in order to reach an understanding without any pressure from outside forces. Today's session should be a motive for initiating constructive talks. Speaker Nabihbiri has previously called for open dialogue sessions in the House, yet several sides rebuffed his call. And instead, there have been many separate meetings outside Parliament between members of Parliament. Yet today's session could lead to negotiations which could pave the way for a third name. There is a chance. Uh, person, people like me or people that uh, another name or a third name, I wouldn't consider that there are a lot of options, probably two or three. And uh, I am ready, as we said, as I said, but really my objective is to be able uh, to jumpstart the whole of the process, the whole process. This is really uh, the objective. As a possible third candidate, Fram told Press TV that resolving the country's crisis could only be possible by electing a president. Even though I recognize that our system needs to evolve, our, there are fundamental issues that need to be debated, but I would prefer to have them debated with a president so that there is a kind of limit to the chaos that th this, these things can lead to. Observers believe there needs to be intention for dialogue among all the factions. There should be more into deep analysis of the situation of Lebanon economically, security, diplomatically, financially. We are in, in jeopardy until now in Lebanon, unfortunately. We need an assessment, evaluation, and then an intention for dialogue. Lebanon has been without a head of state since Michel Aoun stepped down in October of 2022. Despite the many meetings and agreements among the Lebanese parliamentary blocs on names of new potential candidates, it seems that no one candidate so far has the necessary votes to become president, leaving the entire country in limbo. Mariam Saleh, Press TV, Beirut.